Today we will be comparing Fairfax County and Loudoun County, which are two of the most popular counties in Northern Virginia for relocation. We're going to be talking about the key differences between the two counties in order to help you decide which might be the best fit for your lifestyle. Having grown up in Northern Virginia and still live in Northern Virginia, I've spent a lot of time in both of these counties. I grew up in Leesburg in Loudoun County, and then when I went to college at George Mason, moved to Fairfax County, and up until just a few years ago, still lived in Fairfax County. I am in my last year of my 30s, just to give you an idea of how much time I've spent in both of them. I can really share firsthand experience of where the key differences are. First up is going to be location. Fairfax County and Loudoun County are adjacent to one another, but they are very different in terms of proximity to Washington, D.C. Fairfax County will put you closer to D.C. Depending on where you are in the county, you're looking at anywhere between 6 and 30 miles outside of the city. Some of the key cities in Fairfax County are Alexandria, not the Alexandria that lies in Alexandria City. That's a video for another time. You also have Springfield, Reston, of course, I'm sure you can guess, Fairfax, and Centerville as well. Those are just a few of the cities in Fairfax County. Loudoun County is going to put you further away from the city. You're looking at anywhere from 26 to 60 miles, again, just depending on where you are in Loudoun County. And within Loudoun County, some of the more well-known cities include Ashburn. You also have Brambleton, which is technically in Ashburn, but it really is its own little community. You have Aldi, you also have Leesburg, and further out into Western Loudoun, you have Percival and Lovettsville. Depending on where you are in terms of work and living in Northern Virginia, that may impact your decision between the two counties because of proximity to Washington, D.C. Now let's talk about size and population. Fairfax County is far more urban and suburban than Loudoun County, particularly the western side of Loudoun County, it's far more rural. Fairfax County covers about 406 square miles and is home to over 1.14 million people. And this is where Loudoun County really differs. Loudoun County is about 600 square miles, but has a population of just over 420 27,000. So depending on what type of lifestyle you're looking for, if you want that more suburban, urban vibe where everything is just immediately at your fingertips, then Fairfax may be better suited for you. But if you prefer a little bit of elbow room and a less dense population, then Loudoun County might be a better choice. Number three is household income. Loudoun County has the highest household income in all of the United States, coming in at 156,000. Fairfax isn't too far behind, but a little bit less, coming in at $133,974. And in the Northern Virginia area, there are copious amounts of government and government contracting jobs, along with tech jobs, and that plays into the high household income here. Next up is the schools, and both Loudoun and Fairfax County have excellent schools and are known for their school system. Niche.com ranks Loudoun County as the number five best school system in all of the state of Virginia, and that's out of 131 school districts, so it's a pretty impressive rank. And Fairfax isn't too far behind. They have them coming in at number six. So definitely excellent schools in both of the counties, but I always give the disclaimer that the best schools really comes down to the education that you want for your child. It's a personal decision. Do your research and always make sure that if you are in the process of buying a property, that you're mindful of what schools that property feeds into so you can make a decision that's best for you and your children. Next up is home prices, and you are going to find on average that Fairfax County has higher home prices than Loudoun County. This year, the average price in Loudoun County is $695,000 compared to Fairfax where it's $715,000. But that's really just a blanket statement. That's obviously just the average for both counties and it's really difficult to say that that applies in all cases. You really wanna look into the type of property that you are interested in because prices can vary between the two counties pretty drastically just depending on what type of property you're looking for. 
Number six is older versus newer communities. And Loudoun County definitely has a far newer landscape than you will find in Fairfax County. In Fairfax County, just 12 and a half percent of homes were built after 2000, where compared to Loudoun County, 49% of homes were built after that same year. So if you are looking for homes that are newer construction and have more modern amenities, Loudoun County may be a better fit for you. Let's talk about property taxes. You are going to find that in Loudoun County, property taxes are lower than Fairfax County by about 15%. Currently, the real estate property tax rate in Loudoun County is 0.85 per $100 of assessed value, where compared to Fairfax County, where it's 1.095 per $100 of assessed value. Not a massive difference by any means, but if you are taking into account overall expenses comparing each county, it is something to keep in mind. Number eight is Metro, and Fairfax County has a substantial advantage over Loudoun County when it comes to Metro. But there is good news for Loudoun County. They recently had Metro stations open, so it's not as bad as it used to be, but in terms of the numbers, Fairfax County has 10 Metro stations in comparison to Loudoun County where they have three Metro stations. So if Metro is really important to you and you want that easy access, I would focus on Fairfax County over Loudoun. Now let's talk about the traffic. We all know traffic in Northern Virginia, it's just not pretty. There's no two ways about it. You will definitely find though that Fairfax County has worse traffic than Loudoun County. That is not to say though that Loudoun County is traffic free. It definitely is not, but Loudoun has far more rural areas. So that helps with the terms of traffic and congestion, but areas like Route 7, Route 9, and Route 15, whew, they can definitely get ugly during rush hour. So I don't wanna paint this picture that there's no traffic in Loudoun County. There's just less in Loudoun than there is in Fairfax. Fairfax County during rush hour, you know, we have the Beltway and it's just really congested here in general. And the Beltway can quite frankly just be a nightmare during rush hour. And sometimes not even during rush hour. Sometimes it's, you know, 11, 12 o'clock, but if there's been an accident, then traffic is just not good. Number 10 is diversity, and both Fairfax and Loudoun County are incredibly diverse and represent the multicultural character of the Northern Virginia area. Both of these counties offer a variety of cultures and communities. Next up is safety, and both counties are considered safe, but Loudoun County is considered a safer place to live than Fairfax County because it does have a lower crime rate overall. Most neighborhoods in both counties are considered safe, and I do air quotes because everybody has a different definition of safe and feeling safe. So I always recommend that you do your research, check out local police reports, drive through neighborhoods, and make sure that it feels safe for whatever that definition is for you. Now let's talk about fun activities. And both counties really do offer a plethora of activities. I don't think you could get bored in Fairfax or Loudoun County. Loudoun County is known for its wineries and breweries. It's also known for downtown Leesburg because it's so quaint and charming. And then you also have one Loudoun that has tons of dining options, shopping and entertainment. Fairfax County being a bit closer to Washington DC, you have easy access to museums and theaters. You also have right in your backyard in Tyson's Corner, some fantastic shopping options with two massive shopping malls. And then you also have Wolf Trap in Fairfax County for concerts. Last but certainly not least is your lifestyle. And depending on what you're looking for, that may play a big role in where you ultimately land. If you prefer a more suburban and even rural feel, Loudoun County may be better fit for you. Where if you prefer more urban or being just minutes from an urban atmosphere, Fairfax County might be a better fit. Fairfax County and Loudoun County really are both fantastic places to call home. It really comes down to your lifestyle, your priorities, and your preferences. 
make sure you do your research. Visit both counties, drive through the neighborhoods, go to dinner, really experience what they both have to offer so that you can make a decision that's best for you and your family. If you got some value from this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you'd like more information about living in Northern Virginia. Until I see you on the next one, I hope you take care. Thanks for watching.